Hi, welcome to another episode of Cold Fusion, where I cover anything in science, technology, business or history. This is just going to be a quick one. As I've said many times before, Facebook, now Meta, is the company that everyone loves to hate. With that in mind, it's easy to see why the events of yesterday came with such great joy to a lot of people. Meta's market cap fell by 26% in one day, erasing $240 billion of value, 25% in one day. This was the biggest single-day market cap drop in history for a US publicly traded company. Zuckerberg personally lost $29 billion in the collapse. So what caused it, and what does this signal for the company? You are watching Cold Fusion TV. So why did the stock fall so much? Well, simply put, the Facebook platform is losing popularity. Back in 2018, younger Americans and Europeans began to leave the platform in droves. Back then, that was still okay for Facebook's bottom line, because the developing market uptake was growing at a much faster rate than Western markets were leaving. In an earnings report yesterday, the company stated that, for the first time in its history, the Facebook social network platform was losing daily users overall. The Facebook platform's Indian, African, and Latin American markets are now bleeding users. The platform may have reached peak saturation. Young people in developing markets now go straight to TikTok, and in Western markets, Facebook is now seemingly a destination for old people and mothers' groups. Everyone else mainly uses it for messenger, groups, and events. The main Facebook wall where most of the advertising takes place isn't exactly why people log on anymore. Apple's move to make ad tracking more difficult has also hurt Facebook's bottom line. The Facebook business model is advertising driven after all. In short, Meta wasn't going to be making as much money from Facebook as they forecast. This news surprised the markets. And if you know anything about trading, markets absolutely hate surprises. And from there, we saw the biggest wipeout in history. Will this truly be the future it's, for Facebook? Look, it's obviously a pivotal point for, for Facebook here. And the question is, what happens over the next few years? Does it recover? And is it able to pivot into yeah. a metaverse first company? Is it able to compete yeah. with TikTok? Is it able to actually lean into video the way Mark Zuckerberg wants it yeah. to? Or does the stock languish for the next 15 years like we saw with Microsoft yeah. after 2000? Oh. Now, it is rare when you find um, so many people getting the story so wrong going into a print. I mean, if you consider the 52 analysts on Wall Street who cover the stock, 42 of them, 42 of the 52 have either buys or, or market outperform ratings on the stock. That's how offsides the street is on the story at this point in terms, of, in terms of this print and the guide, Tim. Facebook losing popularity isn't the only reason for the fall. The whole meta company is going through a lot of controversy. As we discussed in other Cold Fusion episodes, there's been major pressures on Meta from regulators and other government bodies after the harm that Instagram and Facebook causes to teens was exposed over and over again by various whistleblowers. To add to this, the Metaverse Ventures have already lost the company $8.3 billion, and yesterday it was revealed that the Oculus Quest headset had lost $3.3 billion in one quarter, despite revenues reaching $900 million. It's likely that investors would like to see some results from a venture into the metaverse sooner rather than later. And it's not like there's no money to be made. Real estate sales in the metaverse exceeded 500 million last year and it's expected to double this year. To succeed here, Meta needs a big slice of the growing pie. In addition to this, growth and risk stocks may have had their time in the sun. Overall, the US economy isn't looking too great the country just crossed $30 trillion in debt and may dip into recession, with the Atlanta Fed predicting GDP growth next quarter of 0.1%. Inflation is rising to record highs. 70% of GDP last quarter was companies simply hoarding stock inventory in fears of inflation. People are quitting their jobs en masse, and interest rates are rising. Many investors are asking themselves, does this seem like a great time to be putting my money in speculative tech stock plays? For now, the answer may still well be yes, but in a couple of years, investors may look elsewhere for safer returns. So, is this the end of Meta? Hardly. Karen, I'll go to you first. Is tw down 22% mm -hmm. warranted? It seems a little overdone to me, but you know, we talk about the three day rule all the time, and certainly I think, you know, let this shake out. Other Meta sub-brands, like WhatsApp and Instagram, are still adding users. 
Meta also plans to focus on their short video format, Reels, to bring in more users and generate revenue. This recent crash of Meta was most likely just a stock market overreaction, and the stock will probably bounce back in no time. But if the company keeps on missing earnings targets, things may play out differently. After all, just back in June of last year, Meta was worth $1 trillion, and now it's down 35%, but ultimately, it's way too early to tell what this could mean. So what do you guys think about this? Do you see this as just a blip in the road? Or do you think that this might be something bigger? A sign of things to come for Meta? I do think that this crash being the biggest single day value loss in history might tell us something. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to discuss this in more detail or suggest a future video, head on over to the Cold Fusion Discord. If you want to listen to the podcast versions of these videos, they're now available on Spotify and other streaming platforms. So thanks for watching. My name is Dagogo, and you've been watching Cold Fusion, and I'll see you again soon for the next episode. Cheers, guys. Have a good one.